with coverage you can count on. Welcome to Erie News Now at 1230. Good afternoon. I'm Isley Gooden. Thanks for joining us today. Now we're checking in with our David Walter for the first check of our forecast. David, it's some nice scenery behind you. It looks like a good day. Yeah. We Thanks, David. It looks like you guys are working on your relationship there. Right now, they're saying we should get ready for six more weeks of winter, at least according to Pennsylvania's most famous four-legged forecaster, Punxsutawney Phil. But above all else, I see a shadow on my stage. And so, no matter how you measure, it's six more weeks of winter weather. Organizers of the early morning party in Gobbler's Knob said Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow. And as legend has it, that means six more weeks of winter. No shadow means an early spring. For the record, the folks at NOAA did a little checking and they say Phil's only been right about 40% of the time over the past decade. Pennsylvania's governor, Josh Shapiro, made his way to Punxsutawney this morning, becoming just the third sitting Keystone State governor ever to ever attend. Here at home, Harbor Creek may be giving the old Kmart Plaza on Buffalo Road new life. Wednesday, Harbor Creek supervisors took steps to begin redevelopment in the Kmart Plaza, and they're hoping to get an appraisal and an offer to buy the property. They've seen growth in the businesses around it and now want action from the owner. It's one of the busiest corners in Erie County. It's our busiest corner. You look at all the growth that's gone on around it locally and nationally just in the last year alone. Uh, clearly, the problem lies, we think, with ownership. It's a big deal. We want to do everything we can uh, as a municipality to make sure it gets redeveloped. He says they hope it will have the same success as the Harbor Creek Mall that the township revitalized about 10 years ago. The old Verizon ad catchphrase, can you hear me now, was coming into play for real today for thousands of Verizon cell phone customers cell phone customers as the carrier experienced a service outage. Starting late last night, Verizon customers reported a loss of cell phone service. According to a cell phone service outage tracking website called Down Detector, about 2,000 Verizon customers started having cell phone service outages around midnight, and they continued now today. Now Verizon reached out to us to say all service should be restored now. We're coming off a Wednesday FBI search of President Joe Biden's vacation home in Delaware, one that they say failed to turn up any classified documents. The FBI says agents did take some handwritten notes and other materials relating to Biden's time as vice president for review. Meantime, a new poll shows a growing number of Americans disapprove, then approve of the way presidents handled the discoveries. But that same AP Nork Center poll shows little change to the president's job approval rating among both Democrats and Republicans. Now to the very latest on fallout from the death of Tyree Nichols in Memphis, Tennessee, with five of that city's police officers facing murder charges today. We're learning that four of those five cops had been suspended or reprimanded during their time with the department for failing to report some of the things they did on duty. Only one avoided any of the job discipline. Those new details coming out as family and friends of the 29-year-old father and FedEx worker came together for Tyree Nichols' funeral service Wednesday. Vice President Kamala Harris was among hundreds in attendance, and Reverend Al Sharpton delivered the eulogy. A number of other first responders have been fired or suspended for their inaction during that traffic stop that turned deadly. We've also learned that up to 20 hours of additional video relating to the case has yet to be released. That's prosecutors contemplating filing more charges in the case. The man charged in a 30-year-old Erie murder is now reportedly headed to trial. Erie police made the announcement of an arrest a while back, and they say 55-year-old Jeremy Brock, the victim's grandson, is the one who stabbed 77-year-old Helen Vogt to death inside her Zimmerman Road home. Police say he stabbed Vogt more than 50 times. The case sat cold for decades with the DNA match leading to Brock's recent arrest. According to a report on GoErie.org, a preliminary hearings led to the charges being sent on to a full trial. A local man is now facing criminal charges in connection to an announced Jeep giveaway at an event here in Erie County a couple years ago. It's a giveaway that authorities say never happened. It all started at an event called the Great Lakes Jeep Jam at the Wattsburg Erie County Fairgrounds back in 2021. 
Hundreds of people brought $50 tickets for a raffle giveaway and a new customized Jeep and 10 grand in cash. The raffle's organizer said a Texas man won and that the Jeep was provided by a dealership down south. Erie County detectives say there never was a Jeep or a winner. 53-year-old Preston Devini is now facing felony theft charges on this. Here's something to warm your heart a bit on this cold February morning, well, afternoon, but national fuel and gas customers are now paying a little less to heat their homes. They're cutting their national gas rates by over 10%. NFG says this week's price drops means the average customer's monthly bill will drop to $97, just down from $108. NFG says the new rate reflects lower natural gas prices their next adjustments is, are expected to come next May. Well, here at Erie News Now, we're honoring Black History Month with a special program called The Legacy this Saturday night. I've been working on this program for over a month after visiting civil rights sites and museums along the Civil Rights Trail in Montgomery, Alabama. This program will take you inside the only racial lynching memorial in the United States. And you'll also hear from the founder and executive director of the Equal Justice Initiative, Brian Stevenson. This is really special. The Legacy airs this Saturday, February 4th at 7 p.m. on WICU. UPMC Health Plan is a proud sponsor of this. Now turning to our Amanda Post to see what they're working on for First Set for today. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Unit 4. Thanks, Amanda. We look forward to that. Now taking a look outside with our Skyview cam. David Walter has your forecast as we start preparing for the weekend after this.